Hey guys, students. Um, on this clip, we're going to be going over two examples and making piecewise defined functions continuous, or basically removing the uh, discontinuity um, in a piecewise defined function. All right. So uh, the instruction that we have is to find the value of a that makes the following functions continuous. All right. So what functions are we talking about? We're going to take a look at two examples. Let's look at the first one. Number one. What if we had the uh, piecewise defined function f of x equals x squared minus 1 for x less than 3 and um, 2ax for x greater than or equal to 3. Alright, so what value of a will make this function continuous? You can uh, draw the exact uh, appearance of these two functions and then basically calculate it graphically like that but that takes too much time and effort this is not a complicated problem at all all you need to know is uh, where the partition is and what and where each, where which function lies all right so the break happens at three you can see a three there it's come up for both of them so since the break happens at three our partition is going to be at three all right so uh, we have a three here to the left side we have one function to the right side we have a different function all right so on the left side we have the function um uh, we have the function x squared minus three minus one on the left side all right and um let's see this one goes all the way to three open circle so anywhere less than three the function will assume this value and on the right side Start with a full circle because we have a line here. A line here. Uh, we're going to have the function 2ax. All right, 2ax. So if we pick the appropriate a value, this function will flow smoothly from this to this without any jumps. All right. So what a value will help us do this? So from the left side, you're basically looking at the limit as x approaches three from the left of of uh, of the function. Okay of f of x and then on this area right here there's a portion to the right according from the left we have the limit as x approaches 3 from the right to that sign of the function f of x all right so all we do here is we basically plug in 3 into the x values of these two and then we solve it for a that will give us the answer all right so i'll just basically take this 3 value right here i'm going to plug it into this function and then in, in the form of 3 from the left, you know, I'm going to take this 3 and plug it into this x in the form of 3 from the right. And then when I compute the, uh, the when I solve the equation, that will basically give me what the a value is, all right? So um, let me set up what I'm talking about real quick. So in order for the function to be continuous, the lim oh, I see, wrong color. In order for the function to be continuous, um, the limit... Um, as x approaches 3 from the left of uh, um, x squared minus 1 has to be equal to the limit as x approaches 3 from the right of 2ax. Okay, remember greater than to the right is this, this function and then less than to the left is this function right here. Alright, so all I just have to do is plug in 3 and then solve for a, okay? So if I plug in 3 here, I'm going to have 3 squared minus 1 equals 2 times, oh, sorry, 2 times a, 2 times a, and a for x times 3, all right? So let's go ahead and solve this equation for a. So we're going to have um, 9 minus 1 equals 6a. 8 equals 6a. That gives us the Bible sides by 6. Your a value is going to be um, the Bible side. So this reduces by 2 and 2. It's going to be 4 over 3. All right. So this value, so a equals 4 over 3, makes f of x a continuous function continuous function all right 
in the sense that the left and right hand limits are basically the same. All right, let's try another example. Similar to this, number two, what if we had the function, this was the defined function f of x equals 3x minus 3 when x is less than negative 1 and um, 2ax plus 1 when x is greater than or equal to negative 1. All right, so how do we do this? Uh, so the same procedure, we just need to know where the split happens and then where which function goes, all right? So this is the, let's assume this is our x, our axis. Uh, so where is which function? Well, where does the split happen first? The split happens at negative 1, so we're just going to put negative 1 right at the center. Now to the left-hand side of this value, less than negative 1, we have the function 3x minus 1, okay? So let's just draw that there. So to the left side of this, excluding negative 1, we have the function 3x minus 3. Okay? Let me write it again so you see it clearly. We have the function 3x minus 3. And then to the right side of this, including negative 1, uh, including negative 1, we have the function 2ax plus 1. All right? So how do we find the value of a that makes this function continuous? We just need the left and right hand limits to be the same, right? So basically we need, uh, from this side, the limit as you approach, uh, this function from the left side is basically the limit as x approaches negative one from the left of f of x. This is approaching from the left, right? And then from the right, the right hand limit is basically the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the right of f of x, okay? That's if you're approaching negative 1 from the right, all right? So if I can get these two limits to be the same, you know, in good shape. So how do we do that? Just simply plug in this split value, this value right here, negative 1, into the two functions like we did before. So I take this and plug it into x right here. And I'll take the negative 1 and plug it into x right here. And I solve the resulting equation for x, and that will tell me that, I mean, solve the resulting equation for a, and that will tell me the uh, a value that will make this function continuous. All right. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do it. So what I'm going to do, <coughs> I'm going to set it up like this. The mm -mm -mm, wrong color. Sorry about that. Um, the limit as x approaches negative one from the left. Since we're coming from the left, this is a function that's live. Okay, of three x minus three has to be equal to the limit as x approaches negative 1 from the right. This is a function that's live to the right at negative 1 or to the right of negative 1 of 2ax plus 1. All right? So for both of them, I'll just simply plug in negative 1 into the function and solve for my appropriate a. All right? So I'm going to have 3 and negative 1 minus 3. So if I just plug in this uh, negative 1 into x right here, and then for this side, I'm going to have 2a times negative 1 plus 1. All right, let's solve this. So you have negative 3 minus 3 equals negative 2a plus 1. All right, let's solve this equation for a. So for this, we'll have negative 6 equals negative 2a plus 1. And then subtract 1 from both sides. And use the reflexive property of equality. I'll have negative 2a equals negative 7. Divide by negative 2 both sides, and then you have a equals 7 over 2. Okay? So a equals 7 over 2 makes the function f of x continuous. Okay? So the goal is just making the left and the right hand limits the same, and that ensures continuity. All right? Well, thanks so much for paying attention to this uh, presentation. Uh, please subscribe to my videos and share uh, it with your friends. Um, you can like my video down here if you liked it. If you didn't like it, you can send me an email about concerns or questions you have. And uh, for the collection of my clips, please go to mygoodserve.com. Alright? Thank you so much for viewing this video again and have a wonderful day.